Hi, and welcome to Study Island. My name is Crystal, and today I'll be walking you through how to add a user individually. To add a user individually, you do need to be a admin or a teacher that has been given permission. I'm logged in. I'm logged in as an admin. I'm going to choose roster management, which is on the left-hand side of the screen under the main menu. Next, I'm going to choose manage users, which is the second tab on the right. And then I'm given two options to import a list of users, which is an Excel spreadsheet. It's best used or it's best recommended to use this option if you're adding 10 or more students or teachers. But today we're going to add an individual user, which is how you add users manually. I'm going to go ahead and choose that button. You'll see I'm given a form. Now this form has required fields. And those required fields change by user type. So to add a user, you will fill out the required fields. Now when you get to the username, you want to make sure the username is unique. I always recommend adding a, a symbol and a suffix. For instance, Larry.Johnson may be taken, so I might try. Larry.Johnson and maybe an at symbol and then a suffix and the suffix can be anything that you would like it to be. So I'm going to use the acronym of my school which is JKA but if that's taken you could do period JKA, you could do maybe at your mascot like bears or tiger or just the email domain. Something like that, okay? Next, you'll set the user's password and you'll verify it. So I'm just going to pick a password. Then you have the option to require the user to change their password upon login. Next, you'll choose your user type. It'll always default to student, but you can change it to teacher. Now, if you, have a, you are trying to add an admin, go ahead and select teacher and then choose the grade they're teaching or just choose at least one. This is optional, you don't have to. You can add their ID number, but you will be required to add their email. So let's just go, I'm gonna go ahead and put my email since this is a fake user. Okay, so when you add the teacher's email, you can email them their login information. Now, the teacher will get an email and it'll allow them to log in. And if you've chosen this option to require them to change their password, they will have to change their password when they log in. A great reason to include the email and why we require it is so that teachers are able to recover their password. So I'm going to go ahead and save and make sure that your emails match. Let me just double check mine. Let's save. And we'll see here in green that the teacher was successfully added. So if I wanted to make this teacher Larry Johnson an admin, I can come over to the edit attributes icon next to his name and then change his user type to admin. Now when you do that, you're gonna get a warning message letting you know what permission you are giving. So as an account administrator, they will have access to all administrator functions. This means that they'll be able to clear data, they'll be able to set school preferences, they'll be able to do all the administrator functions that you are able to do. They'll also be able to view all class and student data and create new users. So if that's what you want to do, go ahead and hit return and save. All right. Now I'm going to go back into this add individual user area because I want to show you that the student and the teacher have different optional fields. So students have more optional fields, such as the reporting categories that include your sub-pop information 
and the parent guardian field where you can add parent or guardian contact information. This allows your teachers to be able to use the parent notifications within the program. They're able to alert parents when there are any new assignments, any progress their students have made, and just keep them up to date with how their student is, or son or daughter is performing in Study Island. So you can fill that in for them. When you're done with your student, you'll save and exit or you can save and add another user. All right. Well, that is how you add students or teachers, and then you change the teacher from teacher to administrator to make administrators. If you have any questions, click this contact button here. And you can either chat in or call or email our support center. They're available to you Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thank you.